air in cupboards and tanks in the loft. But first of all, if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, you can see the bouncing icon there, that would be terrific. So first of all, let's have a look upstairs into the loft, our expansion tank. Once a year, our gas inspector comes round and gives us hints and tips on how to improve the systems. And one of the most popular errors and faults in people's houses is actually in the loft. So please take the time when you're there in the house, take your smartphone, take photographs and show the customer everything here is absolutely perfect. But if there is something wrong, we can now fix it and bring it up to date. Especially boilers in lofts have a great deal of problems there about frost protection, isolation, lagging, etc, etc, which the gas inspector will pull you up on. So don't forget, don't ignore the loft. So first of all, pumping over. So what will happen is, because the tank is often put just above the airing cupboard, which the pump is located in, as soon as it fires up, scalding water will then pump into the tank and start the sludge process, which will ruin the radiators, which so many houses suffer from, and they shouldn't do. It's very easily solvable. On the 22mm vent above the tank, cut. Put a 22mm compression fitting, because we don't encourage soldering. Extend it by 2 metres, but put an, an, an elbow in of about 45 degrees to 65 degrees. Now, that extra 2 metres will have to be added on and more back into the tank. So this pump cannot pump over, sludge cannot begin. And don't forget to put plenty of inhibitor. On the cold feed side, you can see it's 22 mil, no longer 15 mil is recommended. If this tank was 5-6 meters, you could do this in 15 mil, but if it's closer, 22. Pull a bend, not elbows like this, but pull a bend, and still the centers are 15 centimeters, 150 mil. So the system now will fill and vent very quickly. The chances of air locks is down to a minimum or zero. The whole house will work much more efficiently and the water will be super clean. Down into the airing cupboard, there's other parts to see. From the flow connection to the valve, it's a good idea to cut in a 15mm reducer of about half a metre with a brass automatic air vent. The same as we do in the loft. On the return, quite often we see gate valves and bullifix valves, which is wrong. As you can see by the drawing here from Danfoss, Honeywell is exactly the same. Don't put anything here to slow down the recovery of the cylinder, which upsets customer and makes the gas bill and the fuel bills higher than it should be. We want this to recover as quickly as possible, not slowly. That gives the power to the central heating zone valve and take that 22 mil right down the front of the house to feed those big double Ks. And when they warm up quickly, the house is cheaper to run and the boiler stays in condensing mode. And if you have a cast iron boiler, for example, this Suprema, they will definitely demand an automatic bypass and the pump wired back into here. So always look at the manufacturer's instructions when you're doing anything with cast iron or loft installations and uh, you will then not have the problems and the customer won't have the problems that we used to get and we still get. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more or get in touch through our website, mrcombi.com.